Man, McFarlane is slacking. This shit is trash. I mean trash. Let's start with let's start with the Joker mobile. Trash. What? I get a stupid fucking card. Man, fucking trash. Look, lights up. Who, who why? Why do we have this? Trash. I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, so I'm about to get into the, you know what, we're gonna get into that in a minute. So the reason why I pulled this back out is just to show like the world building. First of all, how y'all doing? Who y'all? No lemonade today. But this is how this world is building up to. Now you know damn well we're gonna get that Batmobile. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Not only that, come on, McFarlane. That's why you know what? I'm supporting this. If we if there wasn't a chance of getting the Batmobile, I don't know if I'd be in on this, but I just know it. Like that would be a just drop the ball. The Batmobile and that Batwing from the animated series is like the best design in my opinion. So let me jump straight into it. So I did pick this up. I made another oh, an earlier video and I thought it was like the heart of, heart of silicone episode that had the red eyes. No, now I remember this was the Batman uh, where he was going against the penguin. It was like season two or three and uh, he lost his sight. Alfred, I can't see. And so he needed this to like see and it was plugged into the, Batmo uh, the Batwing. So like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and keep this, why? Because when we do get the Batwing, it's inevitable. When we do get the fucking uh, Batmobile, hell, even the Batboat, you, I'm all in on this fucking line. I'm not joking. I'm just waiting on Captain Clown. But that gives me multiple Batmen to put inside of them. Like I got him on the uh, bike. Him so far just about to throw the battle ring, you know, and it came with like these type of battle rings, but he didn't use those in the animated series. At least I don't believe he did. His was more like how his emblem is on the uh, new Batman adventures. But anyway... So yeah, it's the same exact Batman, just different heads with red eyes. So I was going to use this head just because it's so different, but it just looks stupid. And it's kind of dark. I got the studio lights off so you can see like the light up. So boom, there's that. So me completing him was able, enabled me to get lock up. I was like, fuck it. Like I had everything but the torso. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like had he come with the head, I would have put a different head on it, like beach head or some shit. But you know what? I'm glad I got it. It's basic as fuck, but it stands and it gets the job done. That's all I need. I don't need him in dynamic poses. Just boom. Now, one thing I will say, okay? So we got Killer Croc and Baby Doll from the New Adventures of Batman right here, right? This was the same price as the smaller figures. And I would argue you get that and a next, an extra figure. I mean, she is an actual character in the show, right? So how come we can get this for $24, but I had to pay $30 for this and the fucking head? Actually, he came with the torso, but you know what I mean? Like the builder figure, so you really charge it. I remember when I started collecting back in the day, like about four years ago, McFarlane build a figure came with the $20 thing, you know, but I don't know how prices and stuff work, but I will say... I am glad I picked this up. I will also get the other Killer Croc. Um, the only thing that sucks about him is the legs. Shit, you know what? I'll go ahead and take him off. The knees don't bend. He does a full split, but I'm like, why? So she was going to fall. It was inevitable. So what I don't like about this set is the same thing I do like about the set. You need this for it to work. Like, she is not going to, unless you use silly tack or something like that she's not going to stand up on her own either she's just got she's just head heavy just a big ass head and her arms go forward and it's just it's just yeah but yo i don't mind this baby doll i actually like this version better than the version that was on the animated series i know it's contrast it's contrary but like i like these two even though i like the detailing in the other one i wish he was this color instead of gray. And then, you know, cause like here, he just looks like a lizard, you know, without much detail, but the killer croc from animated series have bumps and stuff. I do like the, you know, articulation that comes, his head looks up in case you want to do like a sinister, but his legs, these move and these move, but what can you really do? Like why, why, did, why, <laughs> why I would much rather, in my opinion, those be stiff and it just goes back and forth and he have a knee joint. Because, like, what is he really supposed to do other than just stand there? And, yes, I got him holding the bottle because he came with also, like, a turkey. Haven't really figured out how to make him hold it. But if there's no bite in it, and no, I don't remember the episode in particular. But, like, I'm sure this will tell us. 
this cross sale. And let's see here. Love is a Croc, season one, episode 13, air date 1998, July 11th. So there you go. I'm pretty sure this turkey was in there, but yeah. So I, I don't, you know, I don't mind like for $24, it's like, what am I getting for my money? Once again, like I mentioned in other ones, this isn't a builder figure. I feel like this, he would have been a builder figure in the animated series. Let's look at the size comparison. You see what I'm saying? Like they're both, this is a little heftier. I would imagine it's because of the shoulder pads, but not by a whole lot. Considering when you put this together, this is all you get. Like this is all you get. You don't even get the damn card that comes with most of the characters. So like you get another Batman card, the exact same card, but with red eyes, literally. So this one came with the Joker mobile. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute. But Everything that I got from my $24, I didn't spend $24. I think it was $15 because I got it from GameStop. That's why I love shopping at GameStop. You get all of this. Him, baby doll. You know what? Let's go ahead and throw it in there. He comes with two extra hands. So this is where I'm going to appreciate McFarlane's company. I'm sure he didn't do this, but whoever is in charge of this, you know, run, you know, they doing it right because I feel like a lot of different people are in charge. I know I should look at the back of the box, but fuck all that. Whoever's doing this, they doing it right. Yes, it's just a photo, but it's, it's the presentation. Damn it, make me feel like I'm getting something for my money. So I like where this uh, line is going. So I fully support it. I cannot wait to see what else comes out. Like, please, let's keep going. Let's let's keep going. Let's, let's keep it up. The Joker is the only one I might not get or I might. I don't know, because I already have two Jokers. And I really don't like how the New Adventures Joker looks. Speaking of which... Let's get into the Joker Mobile. I love collecting these cards. As a matter of fact, stay the tuned. Magic of editing. Here we go. So you've probably seen this. Those have been following me for a while, but I bought this to put like all my different cards and stuff in. And I really like it. I got it from Amazon. I feel like it was like nine bucks. But as you see, like I like to collect all the cards. I mean, I sometimes go back and look at them like I really love them. So look, even got like the Batmobile card. So each and every card. Like, I like that. I like that. But like I said, boom, there he is right there. So literally the exact same thing. So that was a ripoff. So we will take him and put him, is it in the front? Boom, right there. And then next, we'll put the Joker mobile. Look at that, right next to the Joker. I think that's the end of it. Okay. Yeah, so this is what I do with my cars. Like, even when it comes with MP, so it's not just McFarlane, like, other stuff that comes with cards. I just really like it. I mean, I think it's it's something, you know what I mean? Like, who else is really doing this? So I, I'll give him that. That's what I appreciate. But uh, I feel like they're, yeah, so I got the Ninja Turtles in here, stuff like that too. I'm gonna do a comparison to these and the NECA ones. Y'all stay tuned which one I like the best. But anyway, let's close that. This is just a bookmark I got from my local comic. It was free, but I use it for my comics, but I don't really take more than one sitting to read a comic. So this is really not much to it. It really isn't. And what I found out, so as you see, I have like Harley. She, I just set them in there. Like there's nothing. I need her to like hold this with like silly putty because it just keeps on falling out when it's on my shelf. And the Joker that I'm going to use, like most people, is this Joker because he did wear this in that episode. Joker's, uh, what is it? Joker's favor. No, that wasn't what it was. It was, I forget what the fuck it was called, but it was hilarious. <laughs> that was a good episode. I remember when Bruce Wayne was like challenging him. He was like the car dealer and he was just like, in my opinion, he said something like, "Ugh, it's such a hideous face. <laughs> he said like, I hate that on my mind. He was like, who says you have one? <laughs> anyway, I support this. 60 bucks, I fucking support it. I saw somebody else show this. And I never knew this is my first time taking it off. So thank God. I think it was Josh from Before Figs. I do believe. Which, you see how I'm giving praise? That's going to lead me into another video that I'm making tonight. But it's going to be me talking. It's going to be me talking shit about Diaper Island. But uh, anyway, moving on. Yeah, another thing I noticed that I didn't see anybody else point out. But guess what? That's not much. I don't care about that. But come on. Give credit where credit is due. These are nice, thick rubber tires and they turn. So like most people like to, you know, 
that tells me that he's listening or whoever is in charge of this is listening because when people do toy photography, they want it to be turned in. And yes, as you see, I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, who else is going to give you this shit? I feel like when I was watching the Josh before figs, I hope that's what it was because I want to give like the right credit. It wasn't me, but they were like years ago when this was still the um, DC collectibles they were talking about and they never did. I support this because I feel like this is paying the wave for the Batmobile. So yeah, you can put them, I'm not gonna get too far into it. His coat is gonna hinder him from getting in there, but you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, fuck it, let's see, can lock up fit back there? Yes, he can. And then if you like to have like just photography and shit, you can have them all hanging out. I remember, I think it's from the same one where he had like the uh, Beast, the Beast Mobile the bat beast mobile and it looked really cool because he had all the different mcfarlane's uh figures like posted up on there so dude i still support mcfarlane like but i'm still gonna call bullshit when it's bullshit and sometimes it's bullshit but at the same time it's also love because it'll be shit that he'll put out that i fucking love and i fucking love this i fully 100 support this shit you know what mcfarlane takes chances to where you know the opening logo when it shows like the Warner Brothers and then it turns into a blimp. I don't put it past McFarlane making one of those damn blimps. If he made one of those blimps or like the searchlight, because he did give us the searchlight with the um, the floodlight with the um, the uh, six pack that came with the different bat various Batman. But like, <laughs> that's all I can think of him doing is just waving his fist. And then we'll just have Harley Quinzel sitting in here going for a joy ride rhythm just fun shit like that like this is a centerpiece i can't wait to move so i can like set this shit up um i won't put i would probably put lesser known villains but i feel like putting like money or just like cheesy shit a lot of the different like um like for instance like she could you know what i mean just whatever you want it to be like i would put money bags and just different accessories that comes with this shit and then you just put it back on top so they thought of that come on they thought of it like there's space, but how would we get them in there? Let's make the top removable. And it's not cheap filling. Yes, this is 60 bucks, but to me, definitely worth it. And as you've seen, once again, let me turn off these lights. It's real time, damn it. I say lights and soft goods makes it that much more quality. That's why I don't get why that Batman, the White Knight Batmobile is over $100. Like, fuck that. I mean, maybe there's licensing issues in there. Shit that I don't know about, but it ain't for me. I'm sure it's for other people, but Joker Mobile, uh, what is it? Two AA batteries? No, three three AA batteries. So be weary. I'm going to have to take those out, especially when I'm transferring. I ship stuff because I don't want battery spillage, but there you go. Like, let's, let's do a size. It's comparison time. That is Pixel Nan. I can't take credit for that. Once again, giving credit where credit is due, not stealing people's shit, Diaper Island, if those uh, allegations are true. But like, uh, boom. Look at, I'm loving this world. I want this fucking world to succeed. I'm having so much fun. This is making me watch the animated series again. That's what I like. See, like when I buy certain things, I like to go back and watch the episodes it was part of. That's why I love collecting multiple lines because I'll get bored easily and not feel like, you know, like if I was just doing Spawn or something like that, like, that would get tiring. Marvel Legends, that would get tiring. So anyway, that's my thoughts. I say support this line. There are some people, and I, I read your comments. It might look like I'm just putting up a heart or something like that, but like, there's so many that I like, I like to at least respond. You know what I'm saying? Some people just not feeling it. Some people have given their honest criticism. Like they like, they love the show. They just don't fuck with McFarlane. And that's respectable. I completely respect that. I understand. I feel you. There's a lot of shit that I don't fuck with. Like, I mean, shit. That's why I love this community. That's a love-hate relationship. But like, um, I'm supporting it, not for the sake of just getting more shit. This was kind of lame, but once I opened them, I'm not going to lie. I liked it. I will put them on different stuff. I'm hoping that we get a, a, um, a Robin. So, because I would prefer Robin to be on this because he always wrote that. And when I was a kid, even now, I used to always love the aesthetics of this motorcycle. I, I really do love this motorcycle. But I want Robin to be on it so I can put Batman in the Batmobile, things like that. Which opens up to something new. I'm just going to look at these things while I'm running my fucking mouth. Let's turn the light back on. But tell me what y'all think down below about what I'm about to bring up. So, 
we get, Batman the Animated Series started this. That whole, like, Static Shock universe. Wouldn't it be fucking awesome if we also, like, they started to include, because I was watching the episode, we got Nightwing. Fucking Nightwing with the mullet. Let's go. But then, what if, what if he took a chance, right, and started off with giving us Superman and Lex Luthor? I always want to say Lex Luger. If you watch WWF back in the day, I know it's WWE. But anyway, Lex Luthor and Superman. See how those sell. And then open up that world. And then from that world, give us Justice League. McFarlane, come on, man, it's right there. And he's not, he's willing to do that kind of shit. We've seen it. We got this. Who would have ever? Come on. I mean, this wasn't his idea per se, but he pulled the trigger on it. And this sold out for a minute. It's back up on the target. If you collect this line, don't skip out on this. Don't be like the Joker mobile. No, not only was this a good episode and funny as hell, one of my favorite Joker episodes in the original series, but this is like, I got no complaints about this. But that being said, then we get Justice League. Then we can get Static Shock. And then we can get my second favorite Batman of all. Holla at me if you love fucking Terry McGinnis. Let's go, boy. Damn it, the the fucking, the implications are unlimited. Unlimited. Let's go, man. I do collect the uh, multiverse, but those were the shows that I watched. Bars. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Who y'all? I would love that to be one full world from the WB, from Batman the Animated Series to Batman or the new Batman Adventures to Batman Beyond, to Static Shock, to Justice League, to Justice League Unlimited. Hell, even that damn robot, I forget his name. I feel like he was supposed to be part of that. I forget JX9, I don't fucking remember. But we can just keep it going. I personally would fully support the fuck out of that line. I mean, the fuck out of that line. I would retire my DC multiverse, save a few figures, if we just got all these figures like when it comes to the Batman, as you see down there, when it comes to the Batman 66, he even gave us like Superman and then other shit that's not really, that wasn't even, even like the Two-Face, that wasn't even in the show, but it was the aesthetics. Give us these aesthetics, McFarlane, please. Even if it's a short run, you have my full fucking support. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. This is going to be the last time um, I do have because I didn't pick him up from GameStop when I wanted to and I would regret it. But I do have the Batman from the um, New Adventures of Batman where he just got like, uh, to me, the GOAT looking Batman. Well, what started the GOAT. At first when I was a kid, I was like, no, I want to have the yellow belt and the yellow. Nah, that from the New Adventures of Batman all the way up through Justice League Unlimited, that is my Batman. That's my eyes look when I see Batman. But all in all, like with Killer Croc, with him, these are one shot scopes one shot sculpts batman did have different shit you know what i'm saying like different out raz al ghul uh his little henchman that kept calling this motherfucker infidel infidel i forget his name right now i want to call him hate to but that wasn't his name um but you know what i'm talking about that bald-headed dude uh you can give us raz al ghul that comes with his little demon's head oh my god with a sword detective man come on are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me? Dude, I'll be all in on that shit. Look, I'm getting all excited and goosebumps. So y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Until later, hoo-yah.